Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Sumble Gear Pack 15 unit. Before we get into it, it'd be cool if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you have any questions. Without further ado, let's get into it. I ordered this from the Sumble Gear website for a total of $247, and that is including a $10 PCB potting charge. It runs off of one CR123 battery with the positive facing out towards the cap. It is a two-piece design held together with screws or bolts, but they appear to be sealed off with epoxy or something similar. And uh, when I first got it, I removed the stop screws, as you can see, and I've been running it with the included tape switch. Uh, the included lens covers work flawlessly, and the glass quality looks good. I chose the red laser, and it completely sucks in the daytime. I'd probably give it a 3 out of 10. But we're here to talk about night vision performance, right? I zeroed this unit on my 16-inch 5.56 upper and currently have 650 rounds through it with no loss of zero. The illuminator is zeroable as well and it's pretty powerful, but as you can see here, even when it's maxed out, the beam on it is far too tight for anything closer than like 50 meters. And my plate carrier is about 31 feet from the unit in this footage. And it's worth noting that this is the low setting and this is all filmed through a Gen 3 PVS-14. Most of the shooting I've done with it has been out to a max of 150 yards, and the Illuminator works great at that distance for lighting up a human-sized target. And the IR laser on high power makes me feel like I'm Yoda just creeping around in the dark. <laughs> I personally did not have any issues with the laser or Illuminator leaving marks on my tube, but my range buddy did get some ghosting in his PVS-14 when I was using the laser on the high setting. Both the laser and Illuminator zeroing adjustments did not have definitive clicks when I was adjusting them. I did run into a few issues, most notably being the tape switch in one of the modes. Uh, when shooting, the recoil would cause the plug from the tape switch to slip out of the hole, which was easily corrected by pushing it back in, but in terms of reliability, yikes. I tried grinding down the next ridge of the tape switch so it could insert deeper and hopefully grab the walls a bit better, but nothing really changed. I contacted Somo Gear about it. They asked for a video, so I sent them a video, and they said they would send that to their development team, and that was the last I heard. I've considered epoxying it in place, but I'm not entirely sure that I want to commit to that yet. Since you're here, go click the link below and check out my TikTok for more night vision and gun stuff. I would say my favorite mode is the laser illuminator combo on the low setting, which sucks because out of all of the modes, this is the only one that I had trouble with. Every other mode would reliably turn on regardless of tape switch versus top button, except for this dual mode which would cut out when shooting as shown in this clip. I also contacted Soma Gear about this issue and they blamed the battery rocking back and forth in its tube and suggested that I add an o-ring, which makes literally zero sense to me. So in summary, its reliability is terrible and there clearly needs to be some design improvements. If Soma Gear could fix the tape switch problem, which theoretically shouldn't be too hard, and keep it from cutting out on that one mode, I'd be sold. Yep. Completely disregarding the Illuminator, I think it's fair to say that this is an IR laser unit that holds zero for $247, which is really hard to beat. Thanks again for watching. Go check out the link in the description and leave a comment if you have any questions.